artist on eBay who made these object custom objective markers for us. The, the, it is a seller from Australia. Hooray for Brett. Yay. Well, shout out to Objective Secured. Look for them on eBay. Today's mission is the Crucible of Battle. Our, sorry, the deployment. The actual mission is priority targets. So at the end of each command phase, the player whose turn it is scores five victory points for each objective marker that they control. Let's see, at the end of the battle, the player scores five victory points for each objective marker that they control at the very end. Let's see, for the mission, not rule, but rules, because we got Maelstrom of Battle, we have delayed reserves. So if we're if we were using strategic reserves, are you Brett? I am not. And I'm not, so that is not going to be a matter. Uh, but otherwise we would have to roll a, a D6 and on a three up, uh, then they would come on. Otherwise they would fail on a one or two. Otherwise, the mission rule that will actually matter is Secret Intel. In this mission, each player's command phase, the first time you draw a secondary mission in this phase, that player can draw one additional secondary mission card and then discard one of their active secondary missions. So you can discard, draw an extra, and discard for the Secret Intel. You can use a CP to discard at the beginning of your turn and draw a different one. And at the end of your turn, you can gain a command point and discard one. So this mission, we will have a lot more control over our secondaries than normal. Chaos Lord with a Power Fist and a Plasma Pistol. And he's attached, and he's got the Mark of Norgal. He's attached to a squad of Legionaries with a Plasma Gun, auto, Reaper Auto Cannon, and a plasma gun. I think I already said that. My goodness. I mean, plasma pistol on the champion with power fist. They have the mark of Norgal because I'm going to do something silly in a second. <laughs> this squad of legionaries with a heavy bolt or plasma gun and a champion with a plasma pistol and a power sword. I got ten cultists with three heavy suburbs because, wow, three heavy, three heavy weapons and a ten-man squad. Marker of Chaos Undivided, and by the way, I'm divided for them. These guys, though, they have the Mark of Norgal, 10 Possessed. Got a squad of Plague Rings with a Plague Spear and a Blight Launcher, and they are mounted inside of this Rhino with the Mark of Norgal. And, I mean, I'm sorry, the Mark of Chaos Undivided. And yeah, that is it. Oh, and well, duh, they can't forget about the real star of the show, Hank. But exactly, Pinky with his twin lives cannons, heavy bolters, heavy longfer, and mark of chaos undivided. Time to go in the black spooky hole. And for the Necrons Awakened Dynasty, going from left to right. I have a unit of three scarabs, just for little secondaries. I have a 20 warrior block of Necron Warriors with a Technomancer. That Technomancer has the Nether Realm casket. A little bit over. And we have a Royal Warden and Plasmancer, because the Plasmancer can join a unit that already has certain types of leaders. They are leading a 10-man Immortal unit. Then for my Warlord, I have a Catacomb Command Barge. He has a Resorb, Overlord's Blade, Gauss Cannon, and his enhancement is the Phasmal Subjugator. That's the Aura enhancement, which gives plus one to Necron units within six inches now. A unit of three. Necron Heavy dis Locust Heavy Destroyers and a unit of three Necron Locust Regular Destroyers. And that is exactly 1,000 points of the tenth, new 10th tenth edition Necron Codex Awakened Dynasty.
Okay. Yes, so basically got the first turn, and he did a lot of moving actually. So, how about you start off with what you did, Mason? Alright, so first off, move the Immortals to your right. Uh, most of them just in cover, and to get with all of them within a range, 24 inches of that Legionary squad, I believe it is in the building. Yeah, they. it's kind of weird how they switch the names over. I'm used to, you know, yeah, Chaos Marines. They've not. been Chaos Marines for so long, they might as well, I guess. And then I moved up the Scarabs just to have the objective in the back. I advanced the Heavy Destroyers because I wouldn't be able to get line of sight to Pinky anyway, in any way, shape, or form. I moved these guys up on there with their now 8 inch movement. I moved him, the Catacomb Command Barge, up his full now eight, and got him within 24 inches of the cultists. Then I advanced, and I popped a stratagem from the Awakened Dynasty, a Sudden Storm Protocol, which allows you, gives you the Assault keyword on your weapons. Delightful. For one CP, uh, since there is a character leading that unit until the end of the phase, can re-roll advance rolls for the unit. Really, Hank? Hank, I love you, but you do sometimes break models and we can't have that. Boop! Nice and careful. But I rolled a four for their advance, so I'm not re-rolling that. That was... Pretty good. Yeah, if I could get a five or six, would I get uh, more models to actually be able to shoot? Yes but I could have also gotten less. Four is pretty good, so I kept it. Right. Uh, since we got all the movement, I have zero CP since I popped that stratagem. I will actually start out with my shooting from the Sudden Storm Warriors. Okay. Into... Uh, the, the cultists. Well, I'm gonna pop a stratagem for them to get them stealth, and the name of that Stratagem is called Dark Obstru Obstruction. So basically, I have stealth on them. Okay, so that'll counter my, my plus one to hit from having characters in an Awakened Dynasty. So we're going back to fours to hit. And sixes are lethal. So oh, just one from lethal. one. That's a... <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's you. Yeah. But one lethal hit. And strength four against toughness three, I believe. Yes. Oh, all wounds, AP. One. So I got sixes. Oh, no, I think they got, uh, I'm sorry, I think they got put back down to AP zero. Well, either way, I lost two guys, and I got two fives, so it could actually be... Yep, they got put down to zero again. Yay, so only two guys are killed. I am so happy about that. The Overlord on top of the Catacomb Command Barge will shoot the Gauss Cannon at that same unit. Uh, his Aura ability from his Enhancement does not affect characters, so his normal hitting on threes is now hitting on fours. Oh, same from another one. But you got two lethal hits and way more AP than you can take. I'll be for about that because I think... <laughs> AP two, damage two. The guys think so good, but you failed, the Dark Gods. All right, now we have the shooting from the 10, worry, ten Immortal Brick, plus the uh, the Royal Warden. Royal Warden has the larger dice. Well, I'm actually going to stop, put a stop to that and actually say something else. Because I have a Chaos Lord attached to him, I can use a stratagem already um, used. Uh-huh. So I'm going to use the same stratagem, but because they have the normal keyboard, the Lord, and the Marines, they cannot be shot by anybody more than 12 inches away. Alright, so you will get cover, which will counter my minus one, since you, the Legionaries, I'm trying to think of the name, are no longer an eligible target, I do get to reallocate, which puts one Immortal within range. Well, it's minus one ahead because... Yep, and you, because you're behind this, it is intervening, so it negates my minus one. So I'll be hitting on fours. Whoop. Doesn't see. One strength five, it's now AP zero. And they got to 
Roll a wound. Yep. Oh, okay. AP. It's like zero. Because of this intervening piece of terrain, yes. So five up. Oh, one of is dead, sadly. Womp, womp, womp. Meow. Yes, Hank is back again. Are you hungry, Hank? Oh, he wants attention. But, yes, un no, bad, no. Oh. Yep. The joys of having cacks. Anyway, so, other than that, um, Pinky moved up 10 inches. The last exciting stayed inside, same place. While the cultist, well, was remaining alone. By the way, they did pass the leadership test. They advanced onto the same objective, so, sticky, sticky. Oh, and what objectives did you draw? Oh, give me one quick second and I will tell. After uh, the right last two, yeah. Yes. Then the rider moved up, this trainee. See, this is actually, we're we'll trying to do like a, a ploy here, okay? See, it looks like a granite rhino, but... It's been stolen. Well, no, I mean, actually thinking about it... Tactically it, acquired. Well, I was going to say, because the rhino is shiny and silver, necrons are shiny and silver, hopefully the necrons will be like, oh, we're not going to shoot at the rhino. It's another necron. Yes, a box. Then a squad of... Then they just basically move it up six inches. And my two objectives is Storm Hostile Objective and Engage in All Fronts. So, with that being said, I'm going to start doing, doing Peaky with the Wild Cannons and to them. Then I'm going to go and shoot everything else. So, have a long for com com uh, Combine Bolter, Heavy Bolter, Twin Link Heavy Bolter, and to them, I'm doing dark packs for sustained hits because if I can get that bonus Lyle's Cannon shot or two, that would be delightful. The Lyle's Cannons, all soul shatter Lyle's Cannons, and that cross apparently don't have souls for some odd reason. I can't shoot at them. They are immune to that because of I'm joking. They, yeah, they don't have souls, dude. You can't shatter a soul that's not there. I mean, you're part right of, about that. Part of biotransfer transference was getting rid of their souls and letting this ten eat them. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. So let's do some laws cannons into them. So real quick. Oh, two hits, but you do have a sustained hit. But also because I'm cast undivided, I reroll failed hits of one. So oh, two sustained. Nice. So two, four, six hits. I like that. Wounding on twos because T6 versus strength 12. Yes, sirree. <sighs> Ooh, all those at minus three AP. Minus three. So I need sixes to save. I should get one. Oh my God. Yep. Yes. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna five, roll six. one at a time because it's D six plus one for everyone. Yes. And I have four wounds as opposed to five that they used to be. So three or higher kills one. One's dead. Okay. Two's dead. Come on, baby. Uh, you can. Thanks. Three just needs one more, so yeah. So that's that unit. Oof. We don't need to, so I can't destroy the Land Raider anymore, so the Possessed are just going to run free. Now the rest of the Pinky is shooting is going to go into the Immortals. Yes, starting off with the Heavy Bolters, and re-roll that one because of... Uh, Chaos Undivided. Yep, so, and I got a... One Exploder. So kaboom. Then, I need fours to wound. Ooh. Two. At AP minus one, my god. Oh, wait, no, these are twin link. So I re roll these out of the way. Wow, I'm on fire today. So, for, I'm going to assign it to the guys in cover here first. Okay. So that'll negate. Negate. So, regular threes. Blast, so it will get the additional two. So, that would be six rocks.
You sure? Because I actually think sustained with the extra hits will be better against them. Okay, yeah, let's just go with... Okay, no blah. And that is three and no EP. Three and no EP, so I still have a few guys actually in cover. So I'm gonna put it to allocate it to them. Let's see, I got one, two, three, or four guys in there. So I'll go to a three up armor. Actually that would have been good on anybody there. Oh. Okay. Well, but uh, uh, his dark pact. I'll do my storm bolter on top. My combine, combine bolter, my bad. Yeah, same thing. Uh, well, two hex including a... Sustained, so three. Ooh, two wounds, no AP. Just two, though? Hmm. Let's see. All set. Dang, and dark pack. I'm good. But right. now, it's going to be for the plague marines inside. So... Do the plague spewer. Uh, Plague Spewer is what? D6. Oh, I like that. It is Torrent, it is Anti-Infantry, 2 up, and it's AP minus 1. And it, and ignores cover, also. So, 2 up. That stunk. AP 0, I believe, right? AP minus 1, ignore cover. Oh, ignore cover? Alright, so, yeah, I'll still allocate to the guys in the back anyway. So I'll first roll three. Uh, one guy will die. Because you said it's AP zero, right? AP minus one. Minus one. Okay, so yeah, all of them die. And then, let's see. No, I still got one guy back there. Yeah, he dies. And somebody else? Yeah, one guy is good, so... And the Blight Launcher from the Plague Marines. Both hitting. And when you... Uh, they were talking as four, correct? Yes. So it'll be a three... Yikes, but it is AP minus one. Minus one, five. Huzzah. That is not a five. So this entire unit is going to be shooting at this one warrior. Yes. And I forgot to mention, uh, this unit does have stealth because of the enhancement that I ended up giving the Technomancer. It's nice to remember your own rules, people. But good thing that things only mattered if they were torrent. So, starting off, my dark pack would be lethal hits. So, heavy bolter. So, you were going for the automatic wounds. Correct. So, heavy bolter hitting on fours. Uh, fives now. Well, chaos undivided. One hit. One wound. Uh, see, AP is minus one. Yes. I have four up armor, so I need fives here. That is not five, and there's a kitty that's about to jump on the table. There's a plasma gun. Not over killer. That is a hit. That is nothing. Not. But then the two bolt guns. Undivided. Minus one. Nope, nothing. Well, that stunk. Yay! Something survived. Right, so since this unit has shot and has killed members of this unit, I'm going to show off the new version of Protocol of the Undying Legions for one command point. This is basically an out-of-phase reanimation protocols. So, so it's just a D3 you come back? D3, Necron Warriors do get to re-roll that. Okay. And if it's a, there's a character unit in there, which it is, is D3 plus one. Okay. So just roll it on here, just because uh, that is a two, becomes three. a three, yes. So I get three warriors back. At during during slash end of your shooting phase, the reanimation in Brett's sh shooting phase, I got a full three up. In my command phase, I got an additional two. I ended up having five guys on objective number three, so I got points for that, and points for my objective in my deployment zone, where the scarabs are. So I got ten points for that. I decided, I ended up, because I kept Area Denial and Secure No Man's Land, I basically have to clear this center objective 
of enemies within six and keep this. So I moved up, did a normal move for these warriors. I did a normal move for these destroyers so that they could be within six inches of this guy. Also, the warriors are also within six. They are definitely within six. They use the protocol of the sudden storm again to advance onto the objective. And because they are within six inches of the catacomb command barge with the carrier wave aura, they get an extra OC to their each model's profile. In addition, I have more models on the objective. So I take that objective away from you, motherfucker. I just have to clear you off. Now, for the strategy, this is where it gets complex. So, in order to survive, I need to glance, use lethal hits against Pinky, enough to kill him. I have to wipe out all of these guys here. And, let's see, six inches of the center, so are you within three? No, he is just outside. So he's just outside of three, measuring from here, because this is three inches from the objective. So I don't have to kill him. I need to definitely kill them for points, and I need to kill Pinky for survival. So what are they gonna roll for first then? Ooh. You know what? Let's start off by... Let's start off by shooting. You will get cover from this, by the way. Okay. Let's shoot these destroyers. Okay. The regular destroyers into these guys here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that minus one to hit because why the heck not? Destroyers. Now they are within six inches of the command barge with the enhancement, so their three ups to hit will become two ups, but you put stealth on them, right? Yep. So that'll go back up to a three to hit. These do have lethal. So put those two to the side. That is a failure, that is a failure. And then strength five. So that I believe is a failure. So these are AP minus two, two damage. So the whole squad <laughs> is at six. Two, four, six. And there's only five guys. So, and then only have a five up save. So they are dead. All right, the Necron Immortal Blob with the Plasmancer and the Royal Warden. They are going to be shooting at Pinky. Our Plasmancer has Harbinger of Destruction, so hitting on five ups are critical hits. Secondly, I have Living Lightning. In your shooting phase, select one enemy unit within 18 and visible. Pinky. Roll it. Roll 4d6. One. Two, three, and four. For each four up, he suffers a mortal wound. Let's put it over here so it's easier for you. Three mortal wounds on Pinky. Okay. Dice just for the Necron Immortals. S sorry, fives and sixes are criticals. But otherwise, you're popping smoke. Yep. What's counters act my detachment ability, so... Hitting on threes. And let's... Take criticals over five and a six? Yes. I'm still saving from some. Not that bad. Let's see. Or for I guess take off anything. Uh, these are just one damage each. Oh. So my plus one, your minus one. Uh, it saved you from... It saved you from one. Okay. But these are all criticals, and these are all only strength five. Okay, so sixes. Yeah. So that adds another two. The others are just... AP. Uh, roll it, and as I go for it... It's really like two or three. Yeah, it's just minus one. Minus one? In that case, uh, so, one damage each. Yep. So from that unit... Gave me nine wounds, and that's including the three mortal wounds. Uh, so far, 
there's still two more two characters that need to shoot. Okay, go ahead then. So let's get those dice out of the way. Next up, it's going to be the dice from the Royal Warden. Okay. He is not rapid firing because he is too far away. You got one, I believe, and that's it. Oh, damage. And it's just a it's AP minus one two damage. Okay. So from 9, 10, 11 mm -hmm. wounds so far. And then we have the plas plasmatic lance. Blech. He normally hits on fours, plus one, minus one, because of the whole unit bit. Strike seven, lull, but still. AP. No, uh, actually you don't need to roll that one right yet because this weapon does not have lethal hits. Oh, okay. It is strength 7 against, I believe, 12 14. 14. So I need 6s, I believe. Mm -hmm. Whee! Nope, not a 6. So you took 9, 10, 11 points of damage so far? Yes. Alright. Mm. What's next? Let's see, double check. I think, you're, I, think I do have it. Yes. So... Overlord, on the Catacomb Command Barge, will shoot his cannon. Just because, right? Mm -hmm. Now, he is not leading a unit, and his ability does not count for its himself, because he is a character. So he will be hitting on fours with lethal hits. Saved you from one, but hold up, this still has this one still has to oh. get. So go ahead and roll your save at minus two. I'm um, good. Yep, because it's two up. Just these five and him can see your heavy bolter dude. Only two of them are within rapid fire range. So, the big dice are the Staff of Light, so they are strength five, AP minus two. The others are strength four, AP zero. With lethal hits on the small ones only. So that is, let's see, one. Oops, this was a six. Yep. Two, but lethal, so I'm going to put that one back in. So two and strength five, strength four, so threes and fours. These are minus two. These are AP zero. So AP minus two. <coughs> so it'll be fives. So two are dead. No, there are one damage each. Oh, so one is dead. And AP zero. So yes. one is dead with one move remaining. Okay. And now the shots against the Rhino. My goal is to damage, not destroy. Because if I destroy it, he gets out, and then I'm gonna lose points. So. Ooh, that's a lot more sixes than I thought. You've only got to keep in mind that you won me out on six. Yes. And see those. And if I pop smoke on him, you already popped smoke once. Well, see, if I did him instead of the land raider. Yeah. But no, actually, honestly, hopefully you do destroy him because that way. I don't want to destroy him though. Okay, that's fine. So those, they no longer wound like they used to. Let's see here. And then I need sixes here. Yep. That's another three or four. Mm hmm. So, 10, you would have to completely fail this in order for me to destroy it. It's possible. So, one, two, three, four. Well, hopefully the dark gogs are gonna go smile upon me because it's gonna be a hell of a deal breaker for the storm. Um, I have assassination and storm hospital objective. You should be able to get assassination. Yep, so I did get, um, Demon King trip. So I got three wounds back in the land radar. Looks pretty nice. Uh, possessed popped out. Flame rings popped out. And the rhino healed itself one point. And the rings over here moved up a little bit. And you did get five points at the start of your command phase for the sticky objective. Yeah, that's correct. So now, starting over here, I am going to go and do the land radar. I'm going to shoot his last cannons. At that SOB. Um, heavy bolter, I'm gonna shoot into. Now remember, he does have an invul save. He does have that quantum shielding, so if you're 
His strength is higher than his toughness, minus one to be wounded. So we would go to four up. At best, yes. Well, you might have to put more than just last cannons into it. Yes, that's the plan. Um, I'm also going to do the um, heavy closure into the immortals, and then I'm going to do the heavy bolter and combine bolter into him too. So, yeah, and for my uh, dark pack, I'm going to do lethal hits. First off, the last cannons into the what is his name again? The Catacomb Command Barge. Yes, Mr. To Mr. Floating Toaster, Toaster Oven. And where are your other shots going again? Um, I was doing the last cannons to there. Basically, everything is shooting into him except the Havoc Launcher and the Combine Bolter is going to them. Okay. So, last cannons first off. Ooh, all Hex. I and you did not Dark Pact. I did. Oh, what was it? Lethal Hex. Lethal, okay. Yep. So all hicks, other than that, uh, mm. force to wound because it's minus one toughness. Yeah. So you have that many at AP minus three. Well, if your strength is higher than my toughness, then it's minus one to wound. What's this toughness? Uh, I believe eight. Then yes, it's um, strength 12. Okay. So whoop. now AP is minus three, I believe. Yes. So I'll be taking my info for up. Two pass, two fail, which is exactly math hammer. So it's uh, d6 plus one for each. So that is a total of eight, ten wounds. Ten wounds? Does yes. he go boom? Nope. The Land Raider still has more shooting at them. Yes, starting off with the Havoc Launcher. So that is five shots because of blast. Yep, you should get an extra two, yep. My six is ooh one lethal. six, but because I am chaos undivided. undivided. So and the toughness, I uh, believe five. So that many at no AP, sadly. All right, so three up saves. All good. Well, I do have my combo bolter. Ooh, leg stunk. Um, one lethal. Two hits, one wound. I mean, two wounds. Two wounds and no AP, right? Correct. Okay, so threes, one pass, one fail. Uh, you know what? I cannot put it on him, but you know what I can do? What I can put do? it on Timmy. No, not Timmy. Now, these legionaries are going to go and shoot into the immortals, but the Havoc Order Cannon is going to shoot into those destroyers and I'm going to do lethal hicks because it's funny that's why yay so red is going to be the plasma non overcharged and bolters into the immortals and oof chaos uh, there's a six in there yeah so there's one automatic wound and then ooh actually not that bad Oh, toughness five. So. so this was into the Locust Destroyer. No, that was actually into the Immortals. That was a plasma gun. Oh, this was a plasma gun. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is. These are AP zero, and yeah. these are. This is AP two. Two. Yes. Eh. Oh no. Uh, if you please. Oh no. So I have a five up on that one, and a three up on the others, right? Yes. Well, somebody dies, but not the weapon I thought I'd die to. And in the same shot, let's go with the Havoc Alder Cannon into those destroyers. Chaos. Yes. Uh, three to move. Nope. My that god, he's Dark stinks. packed. Roll. I'm good. Well, the Rhino's going to shoot his Havoc Launcher and Combine Bolter into this blob. Starting with the Havoc Launcher. They still have the stealth roll, so. Any ranged attacks are minus one to hit them. Well, I gotta sit. Well, okay, there's gonna be six shots total. Um, I can do math, I promise you guys. I don't know what I can. Ten. Okay, hitting on fours. Ooh, oh, but I am chaos undivided. Oh, no, what? No, That's my. on a one, not a two. I rolled a one. No, I rolled. One of them was a one. Oh, okay, I just yeah. did them. So I believe, did you dark pack them? No, I forgot, but then I'll wait. I'm not gonna worry about that. 
um, because they are two wounds so far, no AP. Combat Evolver. Chaos Invited. Okay, so you have two at full because of toughness three now because of.
The heavy plate weapon from Champion. Toughness six. Oh my god. Uh, does he die? <laughs>
Just for fun. Oh my. Mm, okay, well. <laughs> so uh, hold on to that objector for another turn. It used to be giving your weapons assault and heavy. Now you can at least give yourself assault with a stratagem within 